Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Labor Day weekend. I believe it's week six, and uh, I'm out here all week. I've actually taken off of work uh, this week, and, and I'm going to try to get uh, as much possible done. Today, the main ones on my on my plate are the repair of the back roof where it's pulled away from the seam. I bought some of that mesh sticky tape that they use for sheetrock to kind of pull the pieces together and hold them together while I put the uh, uh, the uh, white uh, rubber cement up there and get that curing. We're supposed to get rain Thursday or Friday, so that's a definitely a priority right now. And then after that, I'm going to try to uh, replace that rotten floor. I've um, I bought some new plywood, three quarter inch plywood. I didn't get OSB this time. I got real plywood for that floor. Um, go ahead and replace it with something a little bit better. And uh, after that, there's a lot of smaller, the, the rafter needs to be replaced and there's some other stuff that needs, but those are my two main ones. <clears throat> I bought uh, everything I should need this week. I bought uh, three gallons of kills. Then I'm gonna start painting the walls. Um, I'm gonna start cutting up the vinyl flooring, and get it out of there. And then barring, any finding any more rot um i hope to get a lot done this week i've, I've put the whole week aside for it uh it's supposed to be a, about 100 today but the rest of the week is supposed to cool down uh, to saturday almost being in the uh the mid 60s or not mid 60s the mid 80s it would be nice to be in the 60s but the mid 80s so um i'm gonna work a little bit every day maybe even try to come back in the afternoons when it starts to cool down Although it really doesn't start cooling down until after 8 o'clock. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm here. I'm working. I'll come back and show you guys where I am uh, when I get something to show you. Okay, Thanks. I just want to show you a little bit what I'm doing. I've got that end done down there. So basically I, I'm painting on a, a thin coat all across there. And then I'm running this uh, sheetrock tape here over it. And just pressing it down really good. And then all the while trying not to fall off this ladder. But um should get over here to the end. I think I'm just gonna let that drop. I'll roll it back up later. Alright, so I've got this pressed down to the end. And then I'm gonna start just putting some of this on top and just sealing up the edges. Oops, sorry. Sealing up the edges while I'm gooping this up pretty good. Get, it, get all the eels, the uh, corners down, get all these holes filled up with, with this stuff. So, okay, let me go ahead and finish this up. All right, well, I got that done. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna let it cure and see, uh, see how it settles from there. And here's the proof. At least it's uh, rubberized and it rolls off pretty good. So um, I'm going to get cleaned up a little bit and then uh, start taking out that floor and see if I can get it replaced today. That would be a major, major win to get uh, all the damage fixed that I found and start working towards rebuilding. So I'll be coming all right, guys. I, uh, I got the hole cut out. Um, the rot was back to here, so I cut back 16 inches from underneath the angle there. So they're underneath the wall there. Um, the cross beam there looks decent. That back there doesn't look so great, but I think there's some wood to grip down below it. Um, I've got that piece there to hold the, the lip. It's coming off here. I'm going to put another, another piece underneath there, right here, so I can uh, screw the floor into it. But all in all, I think it's a it's a good, good catch. I need to fix that spot back there. Um, I'll work on that. That's not really a very important part right now, but I will need to get to that because the hardwood floor will be going on top of that. Um, so I've got all this stuff out. I got the new piece cut. Here's the, uh, the piece I cut off. You can see that was the rot that was uh, out, and I cut back to, to good wood to get back to the good stuff. So. I'm going to put the new one in and I'll show you guys that one. Alright guys, here's my semi-professional job on the floor. I got uh, all the old out, cut this new piece and put it in there. Um, I don't know if it's the wall to sink a little bit or the wood is risen, but they're not exactly meeting. There's like a eighth inch gap here. It's 
better down here. I pulled this floor up to meet it. So it's pretty good. But right there, see there's the gas line. That's going to be the box for the stove anyway. So it's not really important underneath there. Um, out here, I may have to put some thin set to try to level this off. So when the tile or the wood floor goes on top of it, it won't be a, have a gap in it. But it's in. It's done. Um, I'm going to say I got these, I got these screws here. They're called uh, construction screws, and I really wasn't looking at that. I was just looking at the fact that it was, you know, an inch, inch and five eighths, and most everything I got is no more than an inch. I was trying to get an all-purpose screw. But these things are great. I didn't know it until I got into them, but they got the the uh, star tips on them. I don't know if you can see that. It's a star tip, and it came with its own star tip bit, and um, those things grip. They never, never slip. They never pop out like a Phillips head does. They're really, really cool screws. I like them. Uh, I'll use them from now on. So, I got the roof done. Um, I've got the uh, floor rot done. And uh, it's hot. So, I think I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. I'm going to try to get as much of this stuff, the stove, the cabinets, stuff, this stuff I'm not using right now. And I'm going to move it back here to the bedroom, getting ready to. Uh, tear out this uh, final floor. Final floor has got to come that way and then come back this way so I can tile back there. I was looking at the tiles today. I got six boxes. That's enough to do eight foot wide, which is the trailer width, by 13 feet this way. Um, so I'm going to measure it out and see how I can get. That was a manager who just drove by uh, the storage unit I'm in. So I'm going to start pulling everything back this way. Uh, I would like to start painting that, that wall back there and right there, and that way I can put the uh, put the shelves up and permanently mount them, and then get the plumbing in too. Hot water here should be here uh, Friday. We finally shipped last Friday, so uh, I can perm start permanently mounting these uh, these shelves. Um, other than that, I'm gonna st start cleaning up a little bit and then go get somewhere cool. Hey guys. Uh, uh, I'm here and I wanted to show you a little bit of what I got done. That, that rotten rafter I had, I decided instead of pulling it down, you see there's all that rot down there. I just got a two by four and I kept it the full length. So it's supporting all the roof up here and just tapered it down to fit in here. I had to do a little, cut some holes for that and I had to cut some holes for the ductwork here where you can see I kind of punched a hole in it. But that's what duct tape is for, for ducks. <laughs> um, and then tape it back down. So I've got it all in here. i got the wires cleared. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, down here where the wood's good, I'm going to screw it to the rafter. And then down here, I'm going to find the uh, the risers. There's a riser right here that goes from here up. And I'm going to screw into that riser. Well, let, me, let me show you. There's a, there's a riser right here. So I'm going to screw straight in that riser. Screwing in this, this is going to be useless. But if I, if I hold up those risers... That's what's important, and that should uh, that should support this. Then I can go ahead and put the uh, paneling back up here, and I'll be done with this for now. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys where I got done here this morning, and um, try to get some more. It should be cooler today, so I hope uh, I hope it stays that way. All right, guys, it's all in. I've got it screwed in to the the base and the risers. Got it notched up underneath that ledge there. Got all the fittings in. Wires coming through. That one went into that riser. That one went into that riser, and that base is where the wood starts to get uh, okay to screw, screw into. So I successfully dotted this board up, and uh, I don't think the roof's going to go anywhere for a while. So, one off the checklist for today. Let's uh, get to work and get the rest going. Be back in a minute. Okay, guys. Um, I've got the all the floor registers uh, filled in. What I did is I put a bore, like you saw before, I put a bore underneath, two of them, so I can, and screwed it from the top here to hold them in place. And then I cut out these pieces to go in. You can tell they're shorter than the, the height of the, of the floorboards. These floorboards have been a challenge for me because they're different heights depending on whether they got water in them or not, or, or, or they got it just warped so what i'm going to do is you can see i caulked all around the edges of it and i bought a bag of um, 
floor leveling compound, which is like a thin set, and they use it to level out floors. So you, you can pour it out and it'll fill in whatever holes are there and then it'll dry and level. And so that's what I'm going to do with this. And I also did the other ones. I got the, this one I did earlier. Instead of putting the two boards in there like I did, I just put one, caulked around it, sealed it up really good. And then the two in the front of the trailer, there's one there. And there's one back there. Manager just drove by for the storage unit. Um, so yeah, I got those all. I pulled back the floor. I think I'll pull back some more of the floor, maybe back to uh, right about there. I traced out some of these wires. Looks like all the outgoing DC is going right up this wall here. And then uh, I've got a green one circuit came out here. There was a bunch of them here, but what it what it had done is it had come out of the wall and the cabinet here it had a switch underneath. And then they ran another set of wires down the hole. Sorry about that. Down to the bottom and came out down there for for the hot water heater. But I don't need those anymore, so I just pulled this out and I'm gonna use that for my uh, cabinet lighting. This is dedicated circuit for the microwave. That's why it's got one plug and it goes straight down and in there, so it's on its own circuit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this and pull it down and put it right next to this one. That way I've got the dedicated microwave circuit right here by this cabinet. Right here is where the uh, I've got to build a platform for the uh, stove to sit on and for the electrical box to go underneath. And um, yeah, it's coming on. I'll come back with you in a little bit. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna close it up for today. I just want to show you what else I got done. I um, pulled that refrigerator out of the corner there. It's right, uh, right here behind me, and uh, got more of the floor pulled up all the way back to here, right by the window. The floor looks decent. There's a little bit of water damage there. I think that came from the refrigerator draining on into it. Um, got everything moved back out of the way before I pull up the floor. Oh, and I just want to see what the floor is going to look like. So I just dry fit some of the tile on there to see what it looks like. It's kind of a... Uh, beige stone looking tile. I think it looked pretty good once I get it on there. But uh, before I put the floor down, I've got to fill in that register hole there underneath there. And uh, I plugged up that hole right there. We've seen that expanding foam. I'll come cut it off little when it dries. But, you know, it's looking better. Um, I moved that refrigerator out of the way, and I really like that space there i like to have that whole wall open for a workspace and uh, entertainment space but we'll see i've got some ideas i'm throwing around um and i don't want to i don't want to say anything until i know for sure it's going to work or not so i'm just going to leave it at that i'm uh, i'm open to options um right up here used to be the plug for the microwave because it used to be up here in this cabinet well i'm gonna put it down here on the counter with everything else so i cut a new hole pulled the electrical down uh, but behind it is a bunch of bunch of lines. The load and uh, the lines for the uh, GFCI. So it's got one end, and then it's got a load line that, that goes down down to other plugs. So uh, it actually works for them also, um, and they're in the way. So I'm gonna go to um, Home Depot and try to find some more of these surface mount plugs and put that right there instead of cutting a hole in the wall. I uh, still have to plug up that hole for the hot water heater. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, but it's getting there. I feel good today. I got, got a lot cleaned out. Um, when I was back here in this area, I don't know what he used to have back in there, why he took the, the bunks out. Uh, but as soon as I pulled the vinyl up right here where this register is, I smelled really strong urine smell. So I don't know if. He had a dog, and the dog, that was where he kept the dog back in there, or the dog just laid right here, or, I don't know. And it was pretty nasty, but I got it out, and the place is already starting to smell a little better. So it's uh, it's coming along. I got the, uh, the joists up, so uh, if I get some help this weekend, I can 
go ahead and staple up the uh, the luon to the ceiling and get that get that closed back up again. It's getting there, starting to uh, put stuff in instead of taking stuff out, which is always a good thing. So, as always, thanks for visiting uh, my camper home. Talk to you next week.